Well, look what the wind blew in. This panel proposes installing a power generating turbine in the back of a truck. When accelerating, the turbine spins and produces energy, which in turn is supposedly used to run the vehicle. And like that, you would have a perpetual motion machine. Interesting, but it doesn't work nonetheless. To understand why, let's try to implement this scenario. So a fully charged electric truck is cruising into a headwind. That is, of course, to give our pin wheel, I mean turbine, a fighting chance. Once we get going, air friction will be our first passenger, not only because of the truck but also air resistance created by our turbine, which is basically a giant air brake. This will make the vehicle consume more energy and work less efficiently. Wind turbines are designed for consistent and high wind speeds which are not typically experienced on roads. And even if it's our lucky day and we somehow get excellent conditions, Betz's law states that no wind turbine of any mechanism can capture more than 59.3% of the kinetic energy in wind, even though most turbines used on the fields achieve much less than that. Overall, you can't get more energy out than you put in. In the real world, we have friction, energy dissipation, and many many technical issues which make scenarios like these often fail.